With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, a glass flask with a volume of 200 cm3 is filled to a brim with a mercury at 20 degrees Celsius. How much mercury overflown when the temperature of the system is raised to 100 degree Celsius? The coefficient of linear expansion of the glass is 0.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin and the cubical expansion of mercury is 18 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. Okay, so in the given question we have been given that a glass flask having a volume of 200 centimeter cube. Okay, so the initial volume of the glass is 200 centimeter cube which is filled with the mercury. So the initial volume of mercury will also be 200 centimeter cube and the temperature of, of the system is 20 degree Celsius. Okay, now we have to find that how much mercury will overflow through the system if the temperature of the system raises to 100 degree Celsius. Okay, we have been given the linear expansion coefficient of the glass alpha as 0 0.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin and the cubical expansion of the mercury as 18 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. Okay, so due to the increase in the temperature, the volume of the glass flask will increase. So we can find the change in the volume of the glass. So the change in volume of the glass will be given as initial volume of glass into alpha sorry gamma we are getting it the change in the volume so gamma for the glass into change in the temperature delta t okay now the relation between the cubical expansion and the linear expansion is gamma is 3 times alpha okay so using that relation we got v naught j into 3 times alpha of the glass into delta t Okay, substitute the respective values. Initial volume of the glass was 200 centimeter cubes multiplied by 3 into alpha is 0 0.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 into change in the temperature is final is 100 minus initial was 20. So from here, the change in the volume of the glass comes out to be 0 0.192 centimeter cube. Okay. So what we got from here that the final volume of the glass will be equals to the initial volume of the glass plus the change in the volume of the glass. So the initial volume was 200 centimeter cubes that will plus 0 0.192 centimeter cube. Okay. So the final volume of the glass will be equals to 200.192 centimeter cube. Okay. Now, due to the temperature increase, the mercury will also expand. So, we can find the change in the volume of the mercury. So, it will be equals to the initial volume of the mercury into gamma of the mercury into change in the temperature. So, the initial volume was 200 centimeter cube. Gamma is given to us as 18 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 and the change in the temperature will be 100 minus 20. Okay. So from here the change in the volume comes out to be 2.88 centimeter cube. So the final volume of the mercury will be equal to the initial volume of the mercury plus the change in the volume of the mercury. Okay. So from here we got 200 centimeter cubes plus 2.88 centimeter cube. Okay. So this will be equal to 202.88 centimeter cube. So this is the final volume of the mercury. Now after expansion in the volume, the extra amount of the mercury will be overflown. Okay. So the volume overflow will be equals to volume overflow will be equals to the final volume of mercury minus the final volume of glass. Okay. So from here we got 202.88 minus 200.192 this much of centimeter cube. So from here we got 
टू पॉइंट सेवन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सो वॉल्यूम ओवरफ्लो विल बी इक्वल टू पॉइंट सेवन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब एंड दिस इज अवर रिक्वायर्ड आंसर फॉर क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ आई टी जी एंड नीट लेवल ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आप टूडे